Hi everyone, this is Beyond the Wall, and today I'm starting a new series that I'm calling The Lazy Guide to Making Gold in Guild Wars 2. So sit back, relax, and let me show you a few ways of making gold the easy way. Today we're going to be looking specifically at advanced parking techniques. That's right, you heard it right. Advanced parking techniques. Here's a list of items that are going to help you perform the methods I'm going to show you today. Let's first look at the Prototype Position Rewinder. If you're parked at a chest, and there happens to be other chests or nodes close by, you could potentially use a Position Rewinder to drop down and get those other chests and nodes, and then pop back up to the main chest. One of my favorite spots to do this is Abaddon's Ascent in Siren's Landing. Here's how it works. Put your prototype position rewinder in a shared inventory slot. That way you can switch and it'll be ready to use on multiple characters. After looting the first chest, walk up to the edge and activate the device. Then fall down to the next chest. And finally, to the third chest. After looting the third chest, use the rewinder to port back to the top. Those extra chests and nodes will increase the amount of gold you get per parked character. One of my other favorite spots for using this method is South Sun's JP Skipping Stones. There are three potential Blooming Passiflora nodes that can spawn around the JP. Two are on the island just next to the JP, and there is one node just east of the JP chest. Now this is where the Glyph of Bounty comes in. For every strike on a Blooming Passiflora node, you are guaranteed to get one Passion Flower. With the Glyph of Bounty, that means that you could get multiple passion flowers. Each of these are worth typically 30 silver on the trading post. Now you can't just park a ton of characters using this method simply because there's a limit of three blooming passiflora nodes per day per account. Another good spot is the Sanctum of Napka in Crystal Oasis. At the top of this puzzle are three glorious Elonian chests, each of which has a chance to drop a freshwater pearl. Now these chests are once per day per account, but it's still worth having one character up here. Not only can you get the three chests, but using the rewinder, you can fly around to four or five different chests on the map. There are actually two other chests that can be looted within one rewinder use. Which means in under 30 seconds. Imagine being on a high spot on a map, and you have mapped out all the good nodes and chests on the map. Imagine using the griffin to dive down and being able to loot one of those chests every 30 seconds.
The other method I want to talk about is the added benefit of your parked character earning gold from teleporting people. All the parking spots I've shown so far have the ability to earn money from tips by advertising to port people or to have people port to you in the LFG. The end chest in Abaddon's Ascent JP is required for part of the Aurora collection. The Sanctum of Nabka in Crystal Oasis, the place where I parked my character, this is a spot where people need to get to to complete the Skyscale collection. The Skipping Stones JP in South Sun also has an item required for it legendary. It is also part of the JP daily rotation. There's two other spots I want to show you. One is the Searing Ascent Jumping Puzzle in Draconis Mons. People need this for the Aurora collection. The other place is Coddler's Cove JP in Timberline Falls. This JP is required for the Sky Scout collection and also is a daily JP. You don't need a Mesmer or a Thief to be able to do this. People can use the Teleport to Friend to port to you instead. Just make sure when you post the LFG to state where you're parked at, what item or collection this might be for, and for the person to use a TP to Friend to port to you. It doesn't hurt also to say tips appreciated at the end of that post. For many of us, the easier something is to do, the more often we'll do it and therefore the more gold we'll make. These methods aren't just for the lazy, but also for people with time constraints. Hopefully I've given you some places and ideas to step up your parking game in Guild Wars 2. Till next time, Tyrions, stay shiny.